Cagoyo. Hello. Just count with ten. That trick you just saw. So what are you gonna learn? It's called 540 Jew Africa. Just kidding, it's called a gargoyle. Uh, alrighty. Uh, this trick is kind of a mix between the Pegasus and the Unicorn. Um, I'll put links up in annotations oh, to those. The Unicorn is done by Craig and Carl, and the Pegasus is done by some other dude. Alrighty. What you're gonna need to know, well, what, it helps if you know, if you know either two of those tricks, the uh, Pegasus or the Unicorn, those help a lot, but you don't have to know them. I don't know them at all. Then, it also helps if you know how to um, no comply 180 or no comply shove. But once again, you don't need to know those, those just help with the pop. Alrighty. What you're gonna do for this trick is you're gonna be riding. What this trick actually is is you're gonna be riding, pop, catch it by the trucks, and then you're gonna continue that swing and jump onto it. Alright. The way you're gonna go about doing this is first thing you gotta know is the scoop, which is probably one of the hardest parts of the trick. Um, so, the scoop is when you, when you step it off, you're gonna, when you step off your back foot, you're gonna step off your front foot, and your back foot's gonna stay on the board, on the tail. And you're gonna have, when you have your back foot on the edge of the board, like kinda on your heel side rail of the tail. And what you're gonna do, is when you pop it, you're gonna kinda scoop it out a little bit. Just, it's gonna kind of come naturally, especially if you already know how to um, no comply 180 or no comply shove. Um, if you do know how to no comply 180 or no comply shove, one thing you gotta remember to do is um, you're gonna pop it instead of popping it so close into you, because you're not gonna actually jump over the board. You're gonna catch it, and so you're gonna pop it a little bit farther out. Let it ride out a little bit and then catch it. You're not gonna just pop and jump over like a no comply. And that brings you to the next thing, which is the catch. So you're gonna pop it and you're gonna catch it by its trucks, which is still a unique kind of way to grab a board and the trick. It's that's what makes all these uh, those three tricks I mentioned the uh, these three tricks similar. Is um. The, the, the Pegasus, the Unicorn, and this trick. It's because they're all grabbed by the truck. And you're all medical comply against your hand. So, you want, you're gonna grab by the truck. You're gonna grab with the back hand, which is your right hand if you're regular, and your left hand if you're goofy. So, once again, scoop, catch the trucks. Then, what you're gonna do, is continue that moment, the board's momentum. You're gonna swing it around and let go, kind of right there, and that should let it just kind of do its thing, and you'll land on the board perfectly. All right. Um, and that kind of leads me to the next thing, which is landing. Landing, you're gonna land switch. Just because that just makes it a more fluid feeling trick. And that's the only reason I like it over any other grab trick. So, if you don't know what that means when you land switch, say if you ride regular, regular, so left foot forward, you're gonna be um, landing it the opposite way, which is goofy, which is your right foot forward, and vice versa if you're goofy. So, that's just about it for this trick. Um, you're just gonna do something like that, except for you're gonna land it.
things will look a lot smoother. And you're gonna go a lot faster doing that. All right. So, I'll put links up and annotations up for the um, Graven Carls. Ooh, I'm gonna try that thing that the uh, all the YouTube people do, all the YouTube stars. All right, for Quaven Carl's trick tip, click right here. For the other Pegasus trick tip, click right here. That's awesome. All right, goodbye. And I love you.